Hi, welcome to the Watermark Training Center. My name is David Lawler and I'd like to spend a few moments demonstrating how the Ion Exchange Calcium Treatment System works and how to operate it. Most people are aware if they live in a hard water area as deposits of white calcium build up around elements in kettles, washing machines and dishwashers. And a coffee machine is no exception. If water is allowed to run through the coffee machine without being correctly treated for calcium, then limescale will build up around the electrical element, the pipework, and into the boiler itself. The problem with this occurring is that it reduces the performance and efficiency of your coffee machine. It also increases the cost of servicing and repair, while also increasing the operating cost and carbon footprint of your coffee making, as more power is required to achieve the same level of performance. The ion exchange unit is designed to decalcify incoming water, or in other words, remove the lime particles from the water which can cause lime scale damage to your coffee machine. This unit here is a 5 litre unit, and inside the unit there is a golden coloured resin which decalcifies the water. As the water flows through the resin, the lime particles stick to the resin, leaving the water decalcified. Periodically, the resin needs to be cleaned with dishwasher salt and flushed with cold water. The frequency of this depends on the lime content in your water as well as the volume of water flowing through the unit. This is easily calculated by testing the water at the time of insulation and calculating the approximate expected water usage. These units come in larger sizes which can reduce the frequency that cleaning is required. The main benefits of this system are that it is both economical to run and it has proven to work. To clean or regenerate the resin in the cylinder, the following steps need to be taken. Step one is to turn off the coffee machine. Step two is to get a 10 litre container for the wastewater and half a kilo of dishwasher salt. The amount of salt needed will depend on the size of the ion exchanger unit that you have. This is a five litre unit, so half a kilo is the correct amount of salt. Step three is to turn off the incoming water. This is the tap at the top. Turn the tap clockwise from 9 o'clock position to 3 o'clock position. This will depressurize the unit, so point the short tube into the wastewater bucket. Step four is to redirect the outflowing water to the wastewater container. Turn the bottom tap clockwise from the 9 o'clock position to the 3 o'clock position pointing the tube into the wastewater container. Step five is to remove the lid and clamp at the top of the unit. If the unit is difficult to remove or won't come off, make sure that you have the correctly depressurized the unit by ensuring the top tap is pointing towards the clear hose. Step six is to pour half a kilo of dishwasher salt on top of the resin. Clean the lid and replace. Make sure that the seal is tight. Step seven is to turn the top tap anti-clockwise so the tap is pointing towards the nine o'clock position. This pressurizes the unit and flushes the salt through the unit to clean the calcium from the resin. Check for any leaks around the lid. The water will start to come out of the clear rubber tube into the wastewater container. Allow the water to flow through for 45 minutes for this particular size of unit. Step 8. After 45 minutes, turn the bottom tap anti-clockwise so that it is pointing towards the 9 o'clock position. The coffee machine can now be turned on again for use. 
It is important to point out that if you put more than the recommended amount of salt into the unit, then it will take longer to flush through the resin. If you do not allow the 45 minutes to elapse, then you could damage the element of the coffee machine. In summary, make sure the coffee machine is turned off before you start. Have the correct amount of dishwasher salt at your disposal. Allow the unit to flush through for 45 minutes. After flushing, make sure that both taps are pointing towards the 9 o'clock position. If you have any questions, please drop us an email. Many thanks for watching.